Dave, yes, yes, yes. Your question, what is your position on curation? Is the question given that the work of mine, rather of languages, is in an old online site that is no longer available? It's, in other words, not online. So, yes, Cynthia Haynes and I do have the files. Well, most of them. <clears throat> and we have the capability of uploading them. But we most likely will not. For the journal, PTEL was connected at the hip with Lingua Mu, etc. My work that uh, won the Kairos Award for Best Web Text, 1999-2000, however, will be reestablished at the Kairos site. Therefore, I give the simple, uncomplicated answer to your question. Thank you for your question. As for what I'm working on now, you ask, I can report that I have two books in production, one on cinematics to be published by Punctum Books and another in the Rutledge's Landmark Essay Collection. Mine is on historiographies of histories of rhetorics. I am seeking permissions to republish some images for the cinema book. The title of that book is Chaste Cinematics. Both books should be published early in 2016. During the middle summer, I will begin full-time on a major project of a book and a film together. But first, let me say that I do have other projects that I am presently in for some time now working toward finishing. For example, the book on Jim Berlin and the third volume of the trilogy on Dasein as Design. But again, the major project. The book has a working, plain title of A Rethinking of Historiographies of Rhetorics as Atemporal anachronistic post-cinematic practices. My first writing of this book, planning it out in a broad level way, I published in Rhetoric Society of America uh, not too long ago. In the book, I will have, of course, chapters and excursions, but also shooting scripts and storyboards. The major settings are in Turkey, Ephesus, for the most part, and Sicily, Mother Etna, for the most part. I'm focusing on Heraclitus and Empedocles, but also in parallel form, I'm focusing on Mary Theotokos and Mary Magdalene. My turn on these philosophers and Marys is their representations by various philologists in word and in film, etc., I'm especially focusing on the, the historiographical approaches on them, how they are researched and written and supposedly canonized and are lost. Therefore, as expected, I will join those who question the story's narratives. I refuse to follow what goes for temporality, chronology, etc. I will, of course, I hope, be received as being sacrilegious and heretical, I'm not worried that Papa might excommunicate me. I am also more so interested in Gnostic and fictive stories. I am interested in, say, the Marys, in John uh, Waters' film on Mary, Kadar's film on Mary, Pasolini's film on Mary, and then again Gibson's uh, The Passion of the Christ, Martin Scorsese's The Last Temptation of Christ, etc. Additionally, I'm interested in studying those researchers who have found lost texts, etc. For example, I'm interested in Simja Jacobovici and Barry Wilson's The Lost Gospel, decoding the ancient text that reveals Jesus's marriage to Mary the Magdalene. But I'm interested so, so, so much in more. I have a set of three new bookshelves packed with books I've read, but more so books that I've not yet read, studied. This is exceptionally important. 
I am writing a book against other books. I'm shooting and making a film against other films. The principle that I'm playing with is greatly put forth by Greg Almer in his article, The Post-Critical Object. Simply put, if someone wants to write a critique of a film, they should do it with the genre of a film, not a book. Therefore, I'm trying to cover the possibilities. Book, excursions, film, shooting scripts and storyboards all together, so to speak. I'm doing this so as to avoid a, a performative uh, contradiction. Okay. Temporality. This project is for working, playing the rest of my lives. Actually, I've been working on it from the day I was conceived in my mother. I have been told all of my lives that I would make a film of films. For years now, I've been reading, studying, and writing about historiographies of rhetorics in books and in films. Understand, it's not the history or of rhetoric. There is nothing but pluralities all the way across. I do see rhetoric in terms of culture, hence countless cultures. About shooting the film in the places that I mentioned and producing it, I started about two or so years ago with the establishment of St. Vitus Pictures, a nonprofit film production company. I have a full crew of cinema, photographers, editors. I have an art director, sound designers, a voiceover champion. I have animators, CGI people, legal counsel, etc. They are doing it for the love of the projects, our projects. My sweet wife, Tony, as well, at times our son, Roman, and I have been scouting the sites, again, primarily Ephesus and Etna, also various places such as Rome. The shooting script is, will have been and will be influenced by Chris Marker, Jean-Luc Godard, and William Greaves. And the beat goes on and on and on. David, thank you for the opportunity. Signing out to reassign myself else whereas. Weaving all together in non-Euclidean geometries. Hello, this is Vito, signing off and up and up a ways. <laughs>